I tell you, it really makes a difference. I went out the first night it was legalized and the first set actually that night we got a coyote. And that's part luck, but part due to the thermal as well. We, we went in there with thermal binoculars and I could see everything. I mean, I could see 2,000 yards any animal. Whereas previously I would shine a light and if one was looking at me, I could see the eye reflection. But now I was able to see a coyote out there and say, okay, how do I want to set up on that coyote? How do I want to call that coyote? So it's been terrific as far as seeing predators I never knew were there. It's, uh, it's great. I have to buy the best stuff because I do guide people. Um, so I spend probably a little more than most folks are going to spend. But for the civilian market, they came up with a great idea called digital night vision. So when you look at this optic here, this light actually puts out a beam of IR light. IR is actually real light that comes out. It's, it's on the red spectrum, but people don't see it. Neither do the animals. But the scope picks it up very brightly. Gotcha. So although it doesn't have the expense of gathering um, minuscule amounts of light from the atmosphere and making a picture, it gets a supplement from the light attached to it. And usually the lights that come with it are good for maybe 100, 150 yards. Um, what I do is I, I run a supplemental IR light, which is a very big, this is a Coyote Light IR. And right now, I don't know if you're gonna see the red go on, but this light now is on full power. And there's a no kidding. very strong and wide IR beam coming out towards you. You don't see it, but tonight, this optic will see it. So I prefer a supplemental IR light, but this option here, you might get into something like this for six or $800. And another nice advantage is you can shoot during the day with this as well, but it does have some disadvantages and then we'll get over to thermal and talk about that. But for most people who don't predator hunt a lot, this is a great option because you can really see very clearly what is the animal that you're going to be shooting towards. Okay. You know, is it a gray fox? Is it a coyote? Um, what's behind it? Really makes it much safer and it gives you really good identification of the animal. So now we get into the big, big bananas here. Um, this, is a, this is a full thermal scope and it has a lot of capabilities. Um, I'll kind of give you a few of them. You might see on the side here, there's an actual range finder on here. So when I have a client, and coyotes often come from far away, I can range or they can use this scope and range how far the animal is, and they can see if it's 200 yards, 120, or 400. It's really tough at night to be able to tell distance. It's like looking across the ocean, everything's homogenous. In the day, we can index trees and dirt and ditches and corn stalks. At night, it's hard. So this, I really love. I love the range finder. You can get it with or without. For me, that's priceless. But this is a thermal scope, and it is many thousands of dollars. Um, and it does have some advantages, and it does have one maybe a disadvantage if you're not a regular predator hunter. Um, but the advantage is, is if it is foggy out, which it may be later tonight, if it is rainy, if it is smoky out, if you use a red light or if you use the digital night vision, you'll not be able to see through it. It'll come right back towards you. But the thermal actually sees through fog, you know, and through all that smoke or anything like that. It makes an image based upon uh, the heat of an object. This is gonna give you a full picture of everything you're looking at. The difference is things that give off heat are gonna glow really bright. There's no way to hide from a thermal scope. That's, that's a huge advantage. You see everything. And if you shoot and you miss, whereas with the other scopes, you'll lose the sight picture. With the thermal, you'll continue to see that animal the whole time. It's almost like a video game. Um, and it records, talk about a video game, right? Yeah, it records. And to be honest with you, sighting these things in, the first time I did it, I was a little frustrated because I felt like I was working on a computer and there is a part to it that's a learning curve. The one caution I have for people is everybody wants thermal a lot of times because it's real big money. They see people shooting pigs and things with it. Um, the only thing you have to be cautious of is it doesn't have the clear identification as much as the digital night vision does. 
it'll have a little more glow to it. I do this all the time, so I can tell if something is a coyote, I can tell if it's a fox. Um, or a raccoon. Or, or a anything. raccoon or anything, yeah. But there's a little less identification ability with this as to the specifics of the critter, um, but not a lot. I can tell, you know, what everything is, and if you use it a few times, you pick it up. So you have a pair of binoculars over there. They don't look like your typical kind of binocular either. <laughs> no, they certainly aren't. In fact, if I had to pick something as my favorite of this whole ensemble, it would be what's in my hand right here. Uh, these are thermal binoculars. The brand is Pulsar, um, and they're called the Accolade, and they are a very good thermal binocular. Um, you can't shoot something if you can't see it, and it's unethical to scan with a thermal scope or an IR scope because it's attached to a firearm. So these, and hopefully you'll see later tonight, if you have a really large farm, like I, I'm serious when I tell you at 2,000 yards, I can pick up a heat signature. You don't know what it is, right. but you know it's out there. So they have a very nice field of view. You can record your hunt on them as well. It also has a range finder, but the biggest asset, I think, to the predator hunter out of all this gear are these binoculars, because if you don't know it's out there, you can't really hunt it, and these show everything. And you have some money invested in this because you do it full time. Yeah. How is your guide service? It's great, and there's been a lot of interest in thermal. I mean, we were really, we had a great bobcat season this year, great fox season, but probably the biggest game changer has been for coyotes with the thermal. 